And I was in Havana last week to cover the Pope's visit, and while I was there, I took a short side trip to visit members of my family. After not seeing them in more than a dozen years, I wanted to see how the changes going on in Cuba are affecting them. The trip to reconnect with my roots begins at the Havana Ferry Terminal, where I stand in a long line waiting to pay one Cuban peso to visit my family's hometown. Here I go. The ferry is going to Regla, on the other side of Havana Harbor. Regla is where my father was born and lived until he moved to New York, where he married my mom, who also left Cuba for a better life in the United States. More than half a century later, I'm back to pay a visit. It's been a while since I've been here. I'm eager to see it. I hope they're home. My cousin Rosa and her husband Orestes are home, a house they've lived in for the past 50 years. They're retired now and miss their son, who lives in Miami. He recorded a video message on my iPhone for his parents. As we sit in their simple living room, my cousins tell me I remind them of my dad. And as I take a short walk down Cespeda Street, I see another reminder of my father. Here's a place very special to me in Regla. This store was owned by my family. My father worked here until he left for the United States. Before the revolution, my family members were business owners. After the revolution, they became employees. My dad's old store is owned by the Cuban government, and my cousin Javier works here. He sells basic food supplies, some of them rationed by the government, others sold at a higher price. Javier surprised me by taking out some old black and white photos of the days my father was here. Out of all these pictures, there's one very special to me. Take a look. This is my dad working at this store. And there's one thing I can't help but notice. Look at all the products on the shelves behind my dad. Now, look at the store today. My Cuban family and I don't discuss politics. My mother and father made a decision more than half a century ago to leave Cuba, and I'm grateful for it. As I walk away from Cespeda Street, ready to leave Regla, I see signs of how life is changing here. First, a cruise ship packed with visitors on the other side of the harbor, then a park with Wi-Fi where locals are logging onto the internet. As I see these new sites in Regla, I'm even more encouraged to see members of my own family also using social media. A lot of information on the internet, very important. 20-year-old Ángel has Facebook friends all over the world. He knows people in Miami, New York, Texas, and Tampa thanks to this. In other words, my family in the town my parents left behind is now connected to the outside world. Well, after my visit to Havana, it was clear the youngest generation of Cubans has the most hope thanks to social media. But for all generations, hope and change are coming with a high price tag and happening very slowly.